Hello everyone, just hopefully a short video to show you how I got on with my new DeWalt DCS578. Today was the first time I'd used it in its natural environment, i.e. on site. Had some pretty heavy stuff to do with it, as heavy as I do as a, as a carpenter. So I've taken some footage, um, I don't know how good it is, I haven't had a look at it yet, but hopefully it'll give you an idea of the saw and how I use it and also my thoughts on it and to say I was impressed is an understatement. Right, I've just got to show you this uh, DeWalt 54 volt, 190 mil circular saw. First time I've used it today and I'm just ripping some um, cross, cross cuts. It's absolutely fantastic. The big boy, it's about its maiden voyage for this one. So as you'll see, that cuts really easily through this. Lovely, hot knife through butter. I'm just ripping some small spacers off the end of this number two to go between the joist and the floor that we're repairing and uh, I'm using this saw and it's absolutely immense. Oh, it's got some power! Right, this is the first big test for this, this new saw. Um, it's come time to cut the furrings. So what I've done is marked my drop on the end here and you can just see it. Snap the chalk line on there. These are about three meters long. These furrings are gonna be. So let's fire up the beast and see what happens. That's insane. That's got so much power, it's ridiculous. That's miles more powerful than my electric Hitachi 190 mil saw. Absolutely ridiculous. What a fantastic bit of kit. I'm just going to finish off this video after day one of me replacing some rotted out joists on a swim pool roof and using this new DeWalt 190mm circular saw. I have to say I'm absolutely blown away at, at how good it's been. I didn't expect it to be as good as that. Um, I, f I feel a bit like the, the chimp in 2001 A Space Odyssey when he picks the stick up and realises he can bash things. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. I, my 190 mil, 110 volt circular saw has been like my main workhorse for most of my carpentry work. And this new 54 volt DeWalt saw has, has literally blown it into the water. There's a couple of things, the two Bs I think is going to be important with this cordless system, batteries and blades. One thing I did notice was after seven three meter rips in this two inch tantalized timber, it, it pretty much smoked the battery. Um, what I will say is when we look at the dust that came off, it's, it's very wet. So, you know, this tantalized timber here, um, here's all the offcuts. This tantalized timber here is, is very wet. And I think my corded 110 volt 190 saw would really have struggled in that. And I would say that this is, this is pretty much heavy work. This, this is heavy work as, as far as a, uh, saws are concerned and cutting that is a, that's a big ask for any machine. So I'm really, really, really impressed with that DeWalt. It didn't, it didn't seem to struggle at all or bog down at all. I mean, I wasn't pushing it because I'm trying to follow a line. So it's not about running down the, uh, the length of the timber as fast as possible. And if I just, I'll just show you what sort of work we've been doing. There it is, look at that. It's a beast. Um, we'll just go up here. So this is the, the job that I've been doing today. We just replaced this. This had the old mineral felt 
roof, flat roof system on it, which failed, and we put all new joists in because they rot, rotted out. As you can see here, um, there's all my fairings. So I think we cut all of these fairings on two and a bit batteries. So you know it does get through the batteries quite quick, but I'll take that all day long over the portability and the, just the sheer power of the saw. I'm extremely impressed. So uh, you know, basically, there's uh, two things I've got to do now: is buy more thin curve 190 mm blades and also save up and buy more 54 watt batteries. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed what I've had to say and I'm certainly extremely impressed with this new saw. So there you go, you can see me using it, you can see what I was using it for and my reaction to it, uh, genuinely blown away. I thought it might be good based on the pal I had who had one and this is the improved one of that and I know that it's if you were going to do these kind of rips all day long perhaps it's not the best tool but I was generally blown away with how, how good it is and for me I think it's going to be a fantastic addition to my toolkit as a 190mm saw Yes, I do some heavy duty ripping like I've done today, and yes, it did eat through the batteries. But generally on the bigger stuff that I use it for, on, on roofing and joisting, you're talking about cuts on eight, 10 inch by two timbers, roofing, plumb cuts, seat cuts, compound jack cuts. And I think that this saw will be able to uh, do those kind of jobs all day long, and I'll, get, I'll see much longer run times out of each battery. So there you go. Just my thoughts and just to give you an idea what I think about the saw and I'm not saying that other manufacturers 190 mil saws aren't as good I, I think that the crux of what I'm sort of saying is today is how amazed I am at this this battery technology and the fact that this saw is a 54 volt cordless saw and yet it's twice as powerful as my 110 volt mains saw which is twice the voltage so yeah all in all very impressed Thanks for watching.